I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things video short. The surest way to end up a goat is to work to be a sheep. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get our app, it's available on all major platforms. And donate, link in the description. Your tax deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about the gospel in the ears of youth, keeps those ears filled with Jesus. And they need that. We need that in these dark times. The parable of the sheep and the goats is a traditional gospel lesson for the second last Sunday in the church year. Uh, the Son of Man, when he comes in his glory, well, let's read the text. Don't take my word for it. Let's read the text. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne, and before him he will gather all the nations, Gentiles, and he will separate one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. And then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you before the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. And I was thirsty and you gave me drink. And I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. Sick and you visited me. In prison and you came to me. And then the righteous will answer, say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you a drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you naked and clothe you? And when did we see you in sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer, Truly I say to you, as surely as you did it to the least of these my brothers, you did it for me. And he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and all his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. And I was a stranger and you didn't welcome me. Naked and you didn't clothe me sick in prison and you didn't visit me. And they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and didn't minister to you? And then he will answer and say to them, truly I say to you, as you did not do it for the least of these, you did not do it for me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The sheep are sheep because he puts them on the right. He feeds them, he words them, he bodies and bloods them. He, their shepherd, king, they, his sheep. Sheep don't look at what they're doing. They don't know what they're going on. In fact, when he points out all their good works to them, he simply say, they simply say back to him, we don't know what you're talking about. We were bad. Yeah, I did that. The goats, on the other hand, have nothing but good works. They know exactly. They have it tabulated. They have it charted. The polling numbers are in. The count has been done and recounted. When somebody was hungry, they fed them. When someone was thirsty, they gave them something to drink. When they were in prison, they visited them sick. They, they, they went and visited them naked and in need of clothing. They clothed them. But they missed one. This is the proper distinction between on the right, the gospel, and on the left, the law. The law is a matter of doing perfectly or else. Miss one and you're out. Try to be justified by what you do and don't do. Try to make yourself a sheep and you will find only judgment because there's always something that we miss in this world, always some failure, some imperfection. And, and one thing, the soul that sins dies. The sheep are sheep because Jesus calls them sheep. He, he sheeps them. He washes their sins away in the waters of holy baptism. He words them. He absolves them. He bodies and bloods them. He places them on the right and he does works through them and they don't miss a single one because it doesn't depend upon him, on them, on sheep. It depends upon Jesus. The goats want to depend upon them, their works, their doing, what they have and haven't done, how much they've been sheepy. And that's the surest way to land goatee. So this gospel, which ends up getting Jesus killed, the end of the parable, the, Jesus says he's going to go to the cross and the Pharisees are said to want to kill him because they know that they're goats. They know that their religion is based upon 
on quid pro quos and do and live, don't do, die. And when Jesus says, missed one, they're out. You are a sheep. You are those for whom Christ died. You have an, a kingdom prepared for you before the foundation of the world, and you have good works that you don't know about. So I need you on the last day to, to I need you today to practice what you will be saying on the last day, which is, Jesus, I only know what you've done. I, I'm a sinner for whom you died, and that is my hope and my righteousness, and I will put my trust only in you. And then let Jesus do the talking. Let him talk about all the good works that he prepared inside of you. Let him talk about all the good that you did. Keep those eyes fixed on Jesus because you are one of his sheep. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been a sheepy Higher Things video short.